Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I'm going to do my weekly reading update for uh, February 18th, <laughs> 2018. Man, you know, it's hilarious because I am a planner scheduler by trade, and you know, I know the dates of the month, or the, the calendar is in my head, but every Sunday I cannot recall what date is because it's Sunday, and I don't schedule for Sunday because that's the one day there is no work happening where I work. So it's just, it's so funny. It just, it's hilarious how I always pause because I'm like, what day am I on? I know it's Sunday, but I don't think of the date. Hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> little side note there. Um, anyway, so I thought I would go through the stuff that I'm, that I finished this week, that I'm in the middle of, and stuff I hope to pick up this week. So, um, I didn't read a whole lot this week during during the week. I mean, you'll see that in my reading vlog when I put up my next one. I mean, you could see the one before as well. I just, um, work has just been crazy and I have two more weeks of the way it's going to be right now. So it's going to be another two weeks of kind of, eh, we'll see what I get done. I mean, work is just so crazy and I just, you know, I'm supposed to be working, not reading. And as much as I would love to read at work, it's just not, that's not how it works. <laughs> so, um... And then I'm so tired when I get home, I just, I can't focus for too long. And as much as I want to dive in, I just, I can't. So, um, I am, I guess I'll kind of do it a little differently. I guess I want to say that I am still reading The Three Musketeers by Andre Dumas. And, um, I'm only about a hundred and about 170 pages in. I mean, I read, what is that? I maybe read 20 or 30 pages this month, um, this month, this week. Um, I picked it up every once in a while, but I just, I was, I, it was just such a struggle, not because of the writing or not because of anything like that. It was really, my mind just did not want to focus in, on this. And I want to take in as many of the details because as I said, my, uh, one of my projects this year is to read at least a couple of the D'Artagnan romances books. So I want to make sure I get through that. I, I'm catching as much details in here as, um, I can, so I want to read it a little closer, a little slower than I normally read, um, just because I'm enjoying my reread. Um, I really want to get everything I can out of this. So, I just, but right now, I am so stressed out at work, and I don't mean that like a bad stress, it's just, there's just a lot going on, it's just really tiring, and I'm doing, like, as I said, I'm doing at least an hour and a half to two and a half hours of overtime every day and for me that's a lot and it just kind of sucks um sucks me dry and I'm just like I don't want to read or write or do anything really to um anything to do <laughs> I'm like I want to come home and just chill out so Three Musketeers is probably gonna be on the back burner for at least for the next two more weeks uh, I kind of feel that that's kind of what's going on and I also feel the same way as On the Map by Simon Garfield. I really was enjoying this and then I just stopped and I think it's because I just I don't have the time at night to dedicate a few pages to read a few pages of this and then read whatever else I'm reading. I just right now it's just not calling to me so I will probably return to this after all the overtime stuff is done too but um, I will keep trying to work on Three Musketeers but I just don't know how much of that I will get done. So let's talk about the couple of things that I did finish. Um, I did, um, you know, the whole uh, book two SFF awards were uh, announced and uh, the shortlist. So um, I went on a, like a library spree <laughs> of getting stuff. So a couple, you know, the next couple things that I'm gonna show are mostly library books that I got that has to do with some of those categories. I'm putting up a video probably later today, if not tomorrow morning. Um, or tomorrow at some point. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what the schedule works out. Um, about my um, booktube SFF, uh, kind of like my goals and how I'm going to try to get all the books read that I want to read um, for the categories that I'm interested in. So, um, but some of the, so some of these are me starting on them. First one is not. This one I just um, picked up because my library had a little display and it was sitting there and that is um, Chief Jumanji's um, Negoshi Adichie. I can never say her name right. Never say. Yeah, something like that. Sorry, you guys. Um, so it's all, we should all be feminists. And I read this uh, yesterday. Um, so that was Saturday before I left um, for, um, I had a company party that night. So um, I was kind of like, well, I need to read something during the day. So I read this because it's only like 50 pages. Um, 
I, okay, I, it, it felt like a talk, like, I guess it's her TED talk from 2012. So I, um, I, it really felt like that, that this is just a script pretty much. I mean, it was written probably different than she would have, uh, verbally given it. But, um, I think there's a lot of good points in here. I'm not, I wasn't, I wasn't blown away as much as I wanted to be. I guess to me, a lot of it sounded, um, stuff I knew. And I don't know if it's just because uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about this before or there's other uh, books out there that, you know, that they've talked about it too. I don't know. There's just, I was just kind of like, eh, you know, I didn't disagree with anything too majorly. And I didn't, I didn't, I think she had made some couple of really good points overall. Um, I think, I mean, I still think it's a very important topic. I think it, it is true that we should all be feminists because if you look at the definition of what it is, but um, I did enjoy it. Um, I just didn't, it wasn't, I, I guess I wanted to be blown away and I guess I can't do that in 50 pages. And again, you guys know how I feel about short books. So, but again, I got it. It was there at the library. I just thought I'd pick it up. I kind of want to read her the, the one with her, the other short one by her, and I don't know the name, how to say that, Dear uh, Ijoeli, something like that. And then the 15 points of how to raise your daughter to be a feminist or something. I'm not sure. I can't remember how that goes, but I, I kind of want to get that one as well. Um, the other things that I finished, so I started on my, as I said, the BookTube SFF Awards. A lot of my library books that I got that I'll show in the video tomorrow probably um, is the ones that... Um, uh, were all the graphic works because I wasn't planning on uh, uh, doing that because I didn't vote for any graphic novel. I didn't read any new graphic novels. I think last year the only graphic novels I read were all for the stuff for BookTube SFF last year. So I didn't read anything after that and I, you know, there's so many things to read. So I just didn't read any of them. But um, some of the nominations, I this I really want to hit all of them. So I'd read like you know, there's several I, I, I wanted to get into. And the one I wanted to try um, was uh, Paper Girls 1, and I read Paper Girls Volume 2. So number three is technically on my to-read list, hopefully soon. Um, but I read these Friday night. Came home from work, and this is just called to me because I got them at the library that day. <laughs> anyway, so um, these were... Uh, really fun. I was actually so impressed with these. Um, I'm one of those people who, um, Saga is not my favorite. Like I don't rave about, it. I think it's like, it's okay. Like I, I can see where some white people like it, but I'm also not like on the bandwagon saying it's the best, blah, blah, blah. I must have the next one. No, you know, I've read seven volumes and I don't know if I'm going to read anymore. I'm like, eh, I don't care. I, I don't, I'm like, I just, I don't know. There's something about it that just hasn't called to me about it. But this one, I enjoyed so much more. I, I don't know if it's because of all the 80s references and the girls being like almost my age, but not quite at that time. It was hilarious because like, you know, all these 80s references, I, I was just reliving the 80s. It was great. <laughs> it was funny. So, um, so I, again, these are like 12 year old girls who are dealing with a lot of time traveling and kind of, um, things that are going around and the world's all messed up and it's just, it's, it's still not sure what's going on, but I really enjoyed these two. And I'm, as I said, I'm really looking forward to picking up the next one, but, um, this is the one that's on the booktube SFF. So I need to read this one, but I got to read these ones so that I could, you know, read up to the third one. So that was really cool. I really, really enjoyed them. Um, another one that I'm kind, I'm, so, okay, so I already mentioned what else I was in the middle of. The next one that I picked up um, yesterday when I was uh, waiting for, so the company party we had, we got to go to a hotel. It was pretty cool, downtown Portland and uh, at the Hilton. And so uh, we got to go early, get our cars valet parked, and it was pretty cool. I didn't have a hotel rooms for the night, so we weren't going anywhere. So it was really, it was really a great party overall. And no, I didn't take any pictures because <laughs> that was, you know, it was just, it was really, really fun. Anyway, but before we got, so I got to my hotel room about 3.30 to the hotel and then I went upstairs and so then I had about an hour to kind of chill out before we were all supposed to go down to uh, the plaza level to uh, hang out and, you know, start our drinking. <laughs> anyway, so I picked up Everyone's an Alien when you're an Alien 2 
and this is by Johnny Sun. And I just started reading this and this is so cute. I'm gonna definitely finish this here in the next, uh, probably next hour or so. It was, I just started reading this and I was just like, oh, it's so cute. And I had no idea. And I know I've heard one or two people talk about it and I was, but I, I don't remember now who it was. It was a while ago. So I don't remember who it was, but I was like, oh, it's so cute. And so, um, anyway, so I'm hoping to finish that. Um, I just, there was, I think there was one page I took a picture of because it was, it was so hard hitting for me. It, it, uh, it, um, resonated with me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I just, I had to, like, that was the page that I, that hit me. But anyway, so I'm going to finish reading this today. So that'll be another one on the um, BookTube SFF Awards. So I will get that done. Um, as I said, I'm going to probably pick up this after that so that I can catch get all the Paper Girls number three. This is, I'm just, I'm like worried about it because I, I don't, because it'll be the end of what we have out. And I'm kind of, I don't know, they're, they're in peril. They're always in peril. Anyway, so then um, just to kind of go into, as I said, into the next week, into this week, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, Three Musketeers is just, as I said, too much for me right now. So if I do want to pick up a novel, I think I might pick up The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Again, this is nominated in the BookTube SFF Awards for Best Debut as well as Best Fantasy. This is a book that I, I did pick up once from the library and did try to start reading one day and I just didn't get into it and I turned it back in. So I don't know why I bought a copy of this uh, a little while ago or last month. So I'm going to give it one more shot. Everybody keeps talking about how great it is. And, um, I just, I want to give it one more shot and really like uh, give it a focus shot. So, you know, today it might be that day because I'm home and, you know, we did have a little snow last night. Luckily didn't, not too, but not enough to do anything on the roads, luckily, but, um, still we had a little snow. So it's a little cozy and, and wintry to read something about Russian, uh, folklore and, um, and a family, you know, in the wilderness. I don't know. It just sounds, I'm kind of interested. So, um, I don't, as I said, I don't know much about it except that, you know, again, it's a family that lives up there. And then uh, I think, uh, the father gets remarried and she doesn't believe in all the, the, um, the local kind of, um, folklore stuff. And, and there's like conflict for that. And so I'm not sure. It just, I hear it's really good. Everybody raves about it on book two. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, this is nominated. So hoping to get to that. And then if I want to continue what fact, uh, to finish off all of my graphic novel stuff that I have, I still have to get one more, which I'll probably get in another month. I'm going to wait on that one. Um, but I also got uh, my favorite thing is monsters. And I did uh, look at this yesterday, right before I left for um, the um, company party. But um, so it look, it's really interesting so far. Like, as I said, I just, I just barely started. I just read probably about 10 pages just to see. And it was like, drops you right in. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. So I'm interested about this. Um, and again, it's just really cool, like different, you know, artwork and stuff from old movies and stuff right here. So <laughs> that is the update, at least at this point, this is what I kind of plan to do in the next week. As I said, it's going to be kind of a I might do a lot today and then not do much of anything for the rest of the week. That's, I just, I don't know. That's the last two weeks have been hard on my reading. Just how I, I just can't physically sometimes come home and read. I just I'm too tired. So, um, anyway, are you guys reading anything good? Are you guys doing the booktube SFF stuff? What are you guys doing? Uh, let me know. Talk to you guys later. Bye.